Hey guys, Jamie from Gilbrook Farm, and today we're going to make a frugal cabbage dish that my grandmother used to make during the Great Depression. So it's been a while since I've done any sort of cooking or canning recipes here on the vlog, and the main reason for that is because here in uh, this trailer we have really really poor lighting. It's not the most flattering for videos. Also, we're, we're kind of in a very temporary situation with you know fold-out tables and stuff like that so it really doesn't make for a very pretty video. But I thought you guys might be interested in uh, learning uh, this recipe which is cabbage and dumplings. It's a recipe that my grandmother um, used to make for me when and she grew up during the Great Depression so it's a very frugal recipe. I'm gonna make it for lunch and I thought I'd take you guys along so for better or for worse we're gonna to just have to deal with the lighting in here and uh, hopefully this will be a good recipe for you guys. Now this is a vegetarian recipe. Um, it can be served as a side dish to a meat uh, but it is a vegetarian recipe in and of itself and I like to eat it just like that for lunch and basically what it is it's cabbage and onions and dumplings and it's super simple to prepare. So the really the only thing you need for it is you need some sort of cabbage. Um, I have a Napa cabbage here but any cabbage will do. Purple cabbage, regular green cabbage, whatever. Onion is optional. Uh, you can use yellow onion, white onion, leek, whatever you have on hand, or none at all. You're gonna need an egg for the dumpling and flour for the dumpling. If you're using my recipe, my gluten-free flour recipe, those of you guys uh, that are gluten-free know that I have, um, if you guys have seen that video, you know that I make my own flour. I make it the same way as I did you know, several years ago. The only difference is, is I do not add xanthan gum to the flour itself, I add it to each recipe. So you'll need a little xanthan gum with this recipe. Some sort of fat, cooking fat, butter, or bacon grease. Bacon grease is actually really good. I don't use a lot of it, just a little tiny um, thumbnail sized bit. And some sort of spices, salt, pepper, and I use parsley. So the first thing, we just need to chop up some cabbage. We're just gonna do it in uh, ribbons. And we're gonna get our cast iron pan uh, heated up while we prepare the onion. Now, a lot of people have asked me, how do I season my cast iron pan living off grid here and uh, trying to be very conservative with things such as propane. And the answer to that is the sun oven. Um, I use a sun oven for just about everything. As long as there's sun. We've had a really, really rough summer here. You guys that have been watching our videos know that we haven't had much sun. But when we do have sun, I, that's what I use the sun oven for absolutely everything. So uh, I'll just throw the cast iron in there and leave it in there for, you know, all day while the sun's out. And by the time the day's over, cast iron is seasoned. So we're going to turn this on medium high. And I'm going to use, I'm going to actually use a little bit of bacon grease in the pan. So I don't use much, just a little bit. I really don't fry, I don't fry anything, um, but I do use a little bit of oils. You can use any oil you want. All right, I got my onion cleaned up. And again, I'm just gonna slice this into little ribbons. You can dice it if you want. It's all a texture thing. There you go. So we're gonna use about, uh, probably about a third of an onion. Mixed in with the cabbage. This is my onion storage dish. I love these things. All right, our oil is melted. I'm just gonna spread this around the pan because my stove's uneven and everything runs to one side. And we're gonna add our cabbage and onions. All right, so while the cabbage is browning, I'm going to start making the dumplings. So just take an egg, crack it into a bowl. If I can get it open. We're gonna add a pinch of salt, some pepper, a little parsley. Just gonna beat this up a little bit. All right, and now we're gonna add some flour. So for one egg, I'm probably gonna add a little bit less than a half a cup of flour. We'll start with that. That should be good. And like I said, I'm gonna add a little pinch of xanthan gum just to kind of give it that chewy texture. And 
And what we're looking for is like a cookie batter kind of consistency. So you could do it thin like this. It'll just uh, have smaller, drizzlier biscuits. Um, I'm gonna do it just a little bit thicker. I don't measure anything because, you know, different egg sizes are gonna give you different consistency. So I'm, I'm just, I just go by the actual texture. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting into that cookie, cookie dough batter consistency. That's what we want. So for me, it was just about a half a cup for one egg. See, it's starting to brown, and that's what we want. Get that onion on the bottom there. Now, if you're using more oil than I use, this will brown a lot faster. I'm not a big fan of using a lot of oil. And we're just gonna let that brown just a little tiny bit more. There we go, we got it nice and browned. Now what I'm gonna do is Add a little bit of water and the dumplings. And here's how I add these. I just kind of drop them in like this. And I'm just gonna put a lid on that to steam those dumplings. Okay, it's been about five minutes. These really don't take very long. You can tell the, the biscuits start to get firm and now we're just gonna stir them. And that'll kind of brown the biscuits or dumplings. And we're gonna add a little salt and pepper to the cabbage. And that's it. We'll plate it up. So there you go. That's my grandmother's uh, Great Depression cabbage and dumpling recipe. Not the prettiest of dishes for not the prettiest of kitchens, but I wanted to take you guys along. I know I haven't done a recipe in forever. So uh, hopefully this has been uh, helpful to you guys. And uh, let me know if you guys make this. And if you try it, let me know if you like it or not. And uh, I'm going to have this for lunch. Thanks for watching, guys.